Palm is different from its competitors because we've got an outstanding level of lights out manufacturing. We've got four horizontal machines, multiple pallets that run virtually 24 to 7. Recently we purchased a it's called a linear pallet pool system. So this is a very automated horizontal machine. And we have four horizontals now in our shop. The pallet pool machine allows us to set up many, many different jobs on the machine so that it can run without operator attendance. It's got 12 pallets. We can load it up with lots of different parts, not just a you know, specific aluminum part, copper part. We can run any, anything on that machine. It runs all night or all weekend, all by itself. That machine, if it's set up on that part, we can have a part off to them tomorrow and then continuing running with other parts through the night, through the day, continuous running. Some people get nervous about that because, well, what happens at nighttime if something goes wrong? Well, with this machine, we have the capability to actually measure the parts as we're manufacturing. The machine will inspect the parts or inspect key portions of the parts so that you know you're getting a good quality part. It will even adjust itself based on what's happening with those, with those measurements. If something does go wrong, we can actually go in, pull another tool, and replace the tool on the fly without us even being here. The machine will also tell us if we're getting out a parameter for a preset number we put in there to be able to watch for the quality of the product and special features. The success to operating in a lights out mode is, is not just any one specific item. It's really the equation of facility, machine type, engineering and process design, uh, and part geometry, right? So all of those kind of need to align properly in order for you to successfully run a truly lights out operation. So in the case of, of Strom's um, complicated geometries, I think the ability of them to engineer the process and the work holding and tool selection in just such a manner allows them to run a very, very small crew, but with incredible uh, output. Okay, Strom Manufacturing is currently running one shift during the day. However, we are running three shift operations. So the machines are just are, are knocking it out while we aren't here, providing extra capacity to our customers. You have parts that are being done without any person there. They don't take a break. They don't call in sick. You come in and half of your projects are already done. So all you have to do is sit there and debur it and load more parts. Our customers have been very happy with the fact that they can get their parts quickly. If needed, they can have the parts in a day. We set up the machines to a lot of different kinds of parts. So if a customer needs something quicker or slower, there's not a lot of effort on our part just to change the schedule and make the machine start popping out a few more whatever part is needed. When you've got the capabilities of running lights out, not only does the throughput um, increase. We keep the cost down to our customers and keep our lead times to a much more uh, desirable level. Strom is on the higher end in terms of volume per part. Some of the highest volume part numbers come out of Strom. But quite frankly, they also have tremendous capability to serve a wide mix of parts by taking advantage of this machine where we can load it up at night and come in the next morning with small quantities of lots of different parts. The ability at Strom with the multi-pallet system, the high-tech equipment, that's what has them stand out above the competition. We have a great work environment, great team. We're always able to work together in a group setting. I could be working on something, somebody else could work on something, and it'll come together perfectly. So we're going to find Strom more and more and more very competitive with what Compass is really good at, and that is small quantities of lots of difficult parts.